Uh, repeat what was wrong with the skin again. Uh, <laughs> it's on the other page right now. Oh. Um, it was an ectodermal. It was a skin accumulation aberration in the, it said the skin in the forehead scalp tissue on there. And one of the things it picked up in here is a, it's a pyridostigamine bromide. It's a synthetic chemical used in medicine manufacturing or sensitivity or toxicity. So it picked up a high level of this synthetic chemical bromide. So right now I'm just trying to neutralize it out right now. I don't know where it is. I mean, it could have been in like a prescription, it could have been in a hand cream, it could have been, I don't know what the hell it came in from. From what time span? Any any time or recently? No, it's not giving me a time span, just as it's picked up a high concentration. Right now it's well, sitting yeah. underneath. I don't know how long it's been there. I could probably get to ask or most of those. What about hydrocortisone? Is that... Yeah. Yeah, your hydrocortisones and stuff like that will have all those kind of chemicals in them. Is that the right right use? It's trying, trying oh, yeah. to fix it. Yeah. Well, it's this petroleum based here. It's yeah. the deposits of toxins in petroleum in here, which is giving a pigmentation and it also twitching in there. So don't use it. Oh, never use steroids or any of those. No. Yeah, that's huge. It causes so much brain damage, that alone. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. If that's what you're using, then see. And again, it's like, I mean, we've been talking how long I didn't know you were on that. You know, or had been using it. A lot of people do. They'll do hydrocortisone. What it does is it puts petroleum over. It's like putting um, acid on. Wow. And so what it does is it keeps all the bugs underneath. So you're trying to control it so you don't see it. But in 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 the essence, they're breeding all underneath, and that's why it's picking up a uh, skin. It also says, like, you know, like an allergy or toxic reaction to avoid and desensitize them off this chemical. So it could be a new bromide that they're putting in the hydrocortisone cream. I don't know. Wow. Well, so I'm using it thinking I'm trying to fix it and making it worse. Yeah, see, when I say you want any prescriptions, you say no to me. And I'm going, but see, it took this long, how many hours to get down to that you're actually putting a prescription on. Right. Right? So you're actually putting a petroleum-based chemical on. Right. So it's not going to get any better. And sometimes what we have to do is stop the prescription because now you've got all the stuff in here. So I'm just going to go back to where that was again. Um, yeah. And so, like I said, it's not till you sometimes do this that where are we getting all this information? Yeah, so it's an ectodermal type. Okay, well, we stopped some of the stuff with the bad cell accumulation, but ectodermal skin surface, ear, scalp, hair, face, and nails. And then in the germodeno, can also be in the prostate, ovaries, uterus, stuff like that, penis, whatever, depending where stuff is. That's what I'm saying. It can be sometimes a processing. People want, like, the, the fast cure. Yeah. And it, it's not one or two things. It, it might be three or four. And if you're still taking a prescription, uh, there's no way you're going to get it fixed. You just you might be covering it up. It's like putting paint on. If I had an infection trying to come out and you just put a, a layer of paint on it, yeah. You know, or tattoo over it, you're not going to see it. it. Doesn't mean that the condition's still not there. Right. You know, and it doesn't mean that you're not putting all that paint and it's getting in there. So, um, yeah, antifungals, corticosteroids, they're dangerous, flipping dangerous. They're right up there with opium and stuff, and they cause a lot of um, emotional stuff too. Taking people off corticosteroids is uh, people. Wow psycho on me, like steroid stuff. And it's the same thing when they use them for ventilins and stuff, or they do dermal. Dermal stuff is fungal, so it's like shingles. So a lot of times when we're doing this, it's going to look like it's getting redder and redder and redder trying to yeah. come out. And it might be like that till we get the new skin growth in two to three, four months. It might take 16 weeks to regrow new skin. It's not a, you know. The shingles is right here. It's a patch, like this thing right here. Yep. Yeah. And so what we want to do is stop any kind of drugs and just let it come out. And I would be doing tons of raindrop oils, like hell the heavy hitters, like oregano, thyme. We used to raindrop every couple of days on people with shingles and stuff. And then, I don't know, it might be eight, nine, ten sessions later. I don't use the word treatment, but sessions later, and this would be gone. 
and I've had people where we started doing raindrops and women would just turn bloat, just beat red here and there. And they'd begin everything over there. And what it was is all the aluminum they'd been using in secret, like that antiperspirant. Wow. Yeah. And so, yeah, that was an amazing. And I mean, I've just seen so many things over the thousands of clients that I've done, you know, and like I said, like when you train with the people, let's say like Helen Horowitz or, you know, I read every, I was his like rep for a while. I read every freaking book, you know, between him and Eagle, you know, that was like 15 years ago, 10 years ago. Um, and there's a, every herb, every oil is a code. There's a code for every disease that they got. There's an essential oil for it. That's the best part. Hmm. But, you know, again, so we can't just say just use lavender, just do whatever. So I'm going to focus in on crown stuff because that's like 700 hertz. You know, so where are we going to show things up um, in the gamma? Because they're throwing gamma. <laughs> they're throwing gamma rays at each other, right? Right. You know, and radiation is gamma. So that's up here in your brain. That's brainwave stuff. So you're going to focus on all the purple stuff and all the gamma ultraviolet stuff. Hmm. You know, um, using different things like people will go so far as and like the David Wolfs and they use cobalt blue or they use um, gamma ray they use myron glass purple glass so they they don't use glasses they use purple glass to make sure the UV doesn't the radiation doesn't deteriorate their water we shouldn't be drinking out of this we should be drinking out of like myron purple indigo glass see that's probably why I like because that's my favorite the blue gr uh, glass yeah, cobalt blue. Yeah. Well, yours is cobalt, but again, that's blue or fifth dimension, right? Yeah. And again, doing that, um, but just trying to do that. So, like I said, it's a little bit in here, and you know, even dealing with someone else, it's not till you're sometimes like you know, what you would consider to be six, eight, twelve sessions with people. It might not be till I'm on like six or eight hours after talking with people that I finally got it down. You know, oh, I forgot this, or I didn't think of that, or no, I did that then. And I'm like, I know, good, you know, because I went, I'll oh, we'll go first off, but any prescriptions, any of this, any of that, nope, 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 nope. And then I find out, oh, yeah, but I don't do that because I get it at the drugstore. I'm not on a prescription, but I'm taking this every day for the drugstore. <laughs> I'm taking Monistat every day for a fungus infection. Yeah. How long have you been on it? Years. <laughs> <laughs> You know, um, again, it, it's all, and sometimes I ask the question too. But I mean, it's different when I used to have you, you come into my clinic, and I mean, you'd sit down, and I'd have a four or five page questionnaire before I even looked at you. So by the time I looked at your questionnaire, and then I looked at you, and I went, I already had it figured out. The rest is just moot. You know, what, what are you missing for information? Mm. So, um, and like I said, you can go with the heavy hitters. Like, okay, well, liver and colon's connected all to skin. So until we get that till cleaned out, nothing's getting fixed. You know, if you're acidic, and I know we, I even just ran a test down. That's why I went to go do this today. Just thought, let them all just, she drank urine. Anyway, um, but. Yeah, I try to, to put it under my tongue every morning and every other morning to let the, re, let the chemists do their job. Yeah, but again, it will only do stuff. Remember, you're putting now, then, if you're on a prescription or corticosteroids, you're putting steroids. Again, right. that's what I said. What are you peeing back into my water system? Right. You know, I just went innately crazy because almost, not that I did, but almost, you know, they put this on our lake. They don't allow basically, like, gas. You can't do this and that and all this. And they've got a senior citizen next to the hospital. And I mean, there's only like 20 beds there at Slocan, but they're all drinking. And you know where the water waste goes to, isn't it? And I'm like, oh, no, I got 20 people peeing like every damn drug, yeah. geriatric drug into there. <laughs> you know? And uh, that's why, you, you know, I get it. That's why I like, I know all these people in my national parks, they kill it. They've already killed themselves and everything around us. Like, you know, it's like, where do you contain them? Into a city, into a FEMA camp? I don't know. Yeah. What do you do? Um, yeah, again, re-education to what? So. I heard there might be some interesting stuff, and I, I don't know how, like I said, it was just grapevine stuff I was listening to about three, four of the guys. They all called me up, but Neil Keegan called me, or Facebooked me, and I've had five people barely into the loop get a hold of me. And they talked about resources and stuff. They said, what if we got the stuff back and the resources back from, like, you know, 
Saturn and what we did on Mars. And I'm like, no, they're taking our stuff to do that. So let's reassemble that back here, yeah. um, which was interesting. It was some different points here, you know, and, um, you know, just even getting things into place here. But, you know, I said, gosh, whatever. I got to get stuff in here so it's function, you know, even to deal with other people and to do it cooperatively, you know, it's another matter. Like I said, a lot of people were make on their initial thoughts and stuff too. But I mean, even to have that idea of pallet gardening and I have to deal with those guys, like I want to know where their damn soil's from. He goes, no one's ever asked that before. I said, what? <laughs> You're an average and you don't know the fuck frickin' radiation. The frickin' frackin' radiation is up there. Like at a couple thousand, like what part did you miss? I just want to know that the damn soil I'm going to get from is not from Abbotsford today. <laughs> well, you know. And the fact that he says, well, it's from Red River, Manitoba. That's a huge area. I'm like, oh, you're s selling dirt off the Anishinaabe Federation that we're not getting for free. Yeah. By the way, I'm the head of that. Cool. So, um, yeah, I kind of looked at that, you know, I looked and went, who do you guys think you are? Right. But he said in 25 years, no one's ever done that. Well, I, went, I, I don't give a crap how long you've been alone. <laughs> I just want to know how deep this earth is off of. I want to know that it's, you know, somewhere at least uh, close to a dozen feet down. I'd be more comfortable with dirt that's like, you know, 12 feet down than I am from something on the surface that's yeah. been sprayed for like all the chemtrails and acids. So, like I said, we'll see what happens. But, you know, even that, just to get that, you know, to get one other individual. Like I said, they don't know. Because, well, we look after all these pristine places. So I said, what? Like, these community gardens? I said, like, no one knows how the hell to garden here. They don't have half the information. Nor do they have title to it. Yeah. <clears throat> what was the, what did that say about my pineal gland and it's opened up more? Hmm. Yeah, there was something in the main matrix, wasn't there, right off the bat? <sighs> well, first and fourth is what we're really dealing with. They're, like, oversensitive right now. They're just, you know, under a lot of, I don't like the word attack. They're just under a lot of, you know, fixing, straining, whatever. In there, the pineal pituitary, where did we come up with that? I'd have to go back and look. Um, but yeah, just seeing in there, like, you know, the third eye and stuff, that whole prescription thing. So yeah, actually the pineal gland and stuff like that, you know, it's starting to open a little bit more, but you know, if you quit doing the drugs on here, which is going by the way, right into your third eye, it's like putting fluoride right into your system, yeah. like fluoridated water. You're putting the same chemicals basically on your skin. They're just taking longer to get in there, but it will create a block. Actually, you won't be able to receive that higher enlightened Waves come in. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't even think of that. Like buying it over the counter. You know? Yeah, there you go. And, and like, that's one of the things, right? You know, I didn't know, like, someone like doing cheese whiz every day. Um, they suck Hull's candies every day, which is, like, pure freaking acid and white trick. I don't take any. Don't take any. It wasn't until, like, third session. They're sucking on Hull's, like, solid all day and, and Tic Tacs or something. And I'm like, Wow. You know, it's sometimes the most insidious things, or like I said, one of the sickest children I ever looked after, you know, sick for three years solid, been to everyone. And it wasn't until we sat down and I got feathers. I went, what the hell? Feathers? I said, feathers? You know, I did. I took all the freaking feather pillows out of here. I took every, like, stuffed animal out of here. And he goes, that was my, like, teddy bear since I was, like, baby. I've had it for 60 years, Karen, and you're telling me. I said, you're attached to this stuff that's got mold and mildew and, and mites and kapok and chemicals. Mm. Like, grow up. You're 60 years old, you know. I said, you're going to have to learn, like, no attachment. You have to, like, almost – do we have to, like – you have to lose everything? Yeah. To learn, like, absolutely no attachment to stuff. And that you're only here temporarily, and you're supposed to be a guest helping us, <laughs> <laughs> not contributing to the problem here. So I don't want any contributing factors causing, again – it's lack of intelligence. If I say ignorant, people go a little weird on me, but I say ignoring the laws, ignorant. You're ignoring the laws. So 
that's why you have cancer because you don't know. I said, so I'm taking every flip and like, and I did, I took everything out and I keep finding things get shoved back in another corner. You know, I, I did. I said, I'm trying to clean it out and I keep finding things under tables showing up or you stuffed us somewhere else, you know, not again. I said, it's like one step forward, two steps back, you know, yeah. and, How's your mom doing, by the way, today? She wanted to know if they have hemp pillows. You can get all sorts of stuff. You can get um, pellets and stuff like that. Look under hemp clothing, bedding, eco bedding, um, Bon Voyage. They've got natural things too. You can get. There's a whole line of hemp bedding and stuff. You can make. You can make your own too. Yeah. Even if it was natural, like you can get natural fabric um, duvets and stuff now instead of feathers and stuff. But yeah, like this little baby, like I said, was sick for like three years. First thing I did was, she had a blanket, they put her under a baby duvet blanket. It was her blankie for three years, her baby blanket. Hmm. Someone made it and it was a duvet, it was a baby duvet. Once we got rid of the feathers within a week, that child never was sick again. You know, it can be something as simple as that. And for eight hours, she was, it's a minor allergy thing, but it looks like something else. Well, you know, and so, like I said, everyone's different, like coming into that and it's no one pad answer, you know, and it's insidious because it's, it's basically migrated all the way up inside and out. So actually, again, when you see the men in the alopecia and stuff, that's, that part, that seventh chakra is, is dying. It's being radiated. It's memory. It's like memory loss. So much stuff actually is even hair and skin, you know, and, and they just think that's normal. I said, that's not normal. Yeah. That means, you know, that individual's been losing it or dying for a long time, you know, and that's memory stuff. That's gamma radiation. Everyone's gamma. So that's gamma. That's um, what you would call it brain damage, whatever. It's still gamma radiation. You know, it's seven chakra damage, it's pineal and pituitary, third eye damage. You know, so um, even when I did the stuff with Neil and the prostate, I said to prostate means to like, you know, be subservient and prostate be below that individual. So he told you you got prostate cancer. Who are you prostating to? You you're below us. Hmm. You know, part of the system, we control you. You know. And for some reason, I just, I had no idea, you know, the timing. He was supposed to go for chemo and radiation the next day. <laughs> and he didn't. Well. Wow. He didn't. That's like, to me, saving someone's life. Right, right. Yeah. That alone, to, he switched. He was all ready to go. Everyone was going to, you know. And, you know, same thing. Even like, well, they're, even the people, well, here's some pills and here's some herbs, which are full of, like, animal stuff. And um, it doesn't resonate. And, you know, you start educating people in that. I mean, the best thing that could have come is when we did um, that intestinal thing. And it may be long, but it allowed me to connect the dots, but it allowed me to go on the internet and put it back together. That's like kind of like the long ones, but then I still should do some 15 minute ones because it's too much for them. This is like the advanced master level stuff. So let's <laughs> listen through it. But well, it is, but you're seeing how my mind's starting to you yeah. know, connect dots. Um, and I, you know, like I said, it's not until we shut off the thing that actually that you told me now what the issue was. I went, what the hell is still, <laughs> you know, I'm going, okay, let's stop the, you know, whatever, the steroid o cream or whatever, whether it's over the counter or, you know, they're yeah. sent. Cortisone 10. Oh, well, there you go. The cortisone is so, I mean, that's why they inject it into the, all right? They can block, it's an internal block. Yeah. So what it is is they don't feel it anymore. It's like a chemical freezing of the lobotomy of that frequency. Yeah, hold on. Just one. Oh, shit. <laughs> can we do a 10 I'm minute? Can we, can we do a 10 minute, just an update afterwards, and just do that and just show that to the audience? <laughs> yeah. No, it is, because this is, I said, we spent how long? 
And this is what it, it took to get to, right? So now that you've got everything trying to repair and figure and we can start seeing, you know, hair regrowth or we start seeing things or take some more biotin or something, you'll start seeing some stuff in there. But again, that, that's going to block the progression. So you're putting like a layer of paint there. Just read me the ingredients. Let's just look at here. Let's just look and we'll go online here. What is that called again? Cortis. What do you call it down in the, your area? Cortis. Oh, cortisone 10. Okay. Oops, Shaisa. Um, no, I can't do it on that one. I have to do it on this one. That's why Matthew was great and he gave me two 25 foot cards. Yeah. But that's the same thing. To, oh, yeah, we're still on Zoom, but we're just not connected. I think we should do a 10 minute deck. I think that would just be like, okay, guys, now we figured it out. Um, and like I said, that's not unusual that we have to do that. Oh, I'm recording you right now for my. Are you? Yeah, because I was going to ask you about the essential oils because you said almost a completely different list for me than last time. So that's why I'm recording. Yeah, different, different frequencies. So now we can like, oh, yeah. So I was going to also, we're still recording? Great. Well, well I mean, I stopped it. But Not at all, but peace. Right. Are we, so we are recording. Yeah. Okay. At different times, different frequencies, things are absorbed. We're dealing with different issues than we were maybe like, when we did some of this in May and April. That was like then, this is now. I've come across a couple more suppliers for people, as I said. I've got Young Living Deuterra. I've got Isis.ca. I've got EssentialAura.com. I have Tony Nevis at A7 Montana at Hotmail up in the Banff area. But I came across a couple more on the internet doing a search the other night, three of them actually, and Amazon. One is called the Healing Solutions.com. And the other one, so healingsolutions.com, oils. Just do your own Google search. And the other one's Eden's Gardens, which I have up here too. All medical therapeutic grade. All of them. And you can go through and have a field day. And that's the kind of stuff I would take instead of in lieu of cash. I mean, for sessions. You know, I don't need to be charging like $90, $120, $200 an hour. You know. Um, but that's a great gift you know, to get those back. But take a look at those, Healing Solutions and Edensgardens.com. And they're amazing. There's also a Planet, Planet Botex, Botex or something like that. Um, so let's say we're looking at cortisone. And again, we know it's a cortical steroid, you know. Um, but this is why I'm saying, let's educate people here. Cortisone, what do you call it, 10 over there? Yeah. It's a and again, you have to know what this is a symbolism. Yeah. Right, this cortisone. It's at, it's at Amazon. I want to know what it is. Yeah. Fast itch, da, da 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 right? And again, I know what the, the drug things are here in Walgreens and stuff like that. So, um, again, topical use. This is where you can go to CPS. And remember, you can have like 20 different brands of basically the same thing. It's like antidepressants, SSRIs. You know, it's like Prozac might be the granddaddy of it, but they're all derivative of it. And so this is not a medication. You know, I'm just going in here, and I know from a nursing perspective what cortisone is, okay? But I think this is the education where people need to go in and find their own thing and find out what's actually in there. So this isn't just high to cortisone. If you use something like marjoram or essential oil, marjoram is an adequate, it stimulates your own cortisone. Hmm. So you could do marjoram essential oil and replace cortisone to cortisols. Okay, so, and, and that's what we want to do. They're not really telling you what's in there. So we need to get what this topical thing is. And does it have side effects? It sure does. I mean, I'm just reading right now here. Oops. What's on here? Stinging, burning, irritation, dryness, redness at the site maker. Acne, unusual hair goes, hair or bumps, which is, um, follicular culitis, which means we're giving you an infection, which means it's like a super yeast infection again. Wow. Just telling you. Uh, skin thinning, discoloration, strap marks. Oh, yeah. If, if it gets worse than this, then let us know. <laughs> by the time, we've already done the damage. Okay? Um, by the way, you can have a, 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 an allergic reaction. So is this actually covering it? No. And so... That's what we, you know, really need to do on there. And um, 
Again, precautions, interactions, overdose, things like that. Again, it's a generic name for hydrocortisone. You know, and so when you find out what actually how dangerous these drugs are, I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. Oops. So what I would suggest, and I, I send most of my clients back, I said, I want you to go to the pharmacist, which means sorcerer, head sorcerer, <laughs> off the Vatican. No, that's their drug detail. You yeah. know, Health Canada, FDA, whatever. It's the same thing. Just sign your death warrant. That's what it means. Um, but if you go through there, go to the pharmacist and look up every side effect. And I'll start going to the CPS, which is their compendium. I call it the Satanic Bible of Drugs. Hmm. That's the that's the sorcerer's witch witch wizardy, right? And that's what it is. And I'm a nurse, and I learned all that, right? I took pharmacology too, um, but now I know what it means. So you know, the thing is, when you get into what's the hydrocortisone actually doing? Um, what's the replacements? So now I want you to start researching in skin natural placements or hydrocortisone. What's the replacement for that, Marjorie? You know, lavender and stuff all help, but frankincense and stuff like that. So what's the derivative? What's it for? You know, medline and everything else. It, and here it tells you it's available with or without a prescription. Hello. It's a steroid hormone. Okay. And Produce I'm thinking and thinking I'm doing helping. It's actually making it worse. Yeah, what's your, what's your formula? C21H30O5, you know? And again, is there a natural way for you to produce that? You know, what is the natural way, you know, that you could be doing some of this stuff? You know, um, what is it actually, the side effects of it? We just told you it causes, virtually every drug you ever take is actually causing it. You know, drug bank, you know, a session, a session number, by the way, mm. EB00741 APRDO, and then start looking at all the people that it's had side effects for, or it's been a causative factor in a death or something like that. You know, what's it known as? Hydrocortisone oral, a hydrocort. Um, we use cortisone and stuff like that all the time, ventolin, cortisol, I mean, everything on here um iv prednisone stuff like that i mean it went on and on and on cortef solucorti you know so how many ways can you decide it and um it's a form of you know different things this is steroid and um why are these being used why are these different kind of drugs even banned in other areas. Like you can go to other areas or as you think countries and even those people in those areas in those chakras still have enough knowledge to say, we don't allow Mount Santo here. We don't allow cortisol here. Forget it. I mean, the doctors recommend or as you think prescribe, you know, essential oils in those areas. Yeah. You know, they don't have drugs there. That's why their people are healthier. So, I mean, one of the things, too, is also it's in a, a, the glucocorticoid and stuff like that, also messing with the hormones, uh, messing with the class of hormones produced and stuff, too, and the adrenals. So are we getting down to a little bit more information or getting down to the core, getting to more incension? What do we need to get you back to get it back into total peace or harmony again, get peace of mind back again, get you off the system? Again, being dragged through the pharmacist called the drugstore. They're just a front. That's all. Yeah. And you got to remember that the government per se, I don't care. They fund both sides of the war. You know, it's like, you know, Bushes and like, you know, Hearst or whatever. They fund both sides of it. You know, doesn't really matter. You know, um, whether it's health Canada or the drugstores, they're controlling what's allowed to you on both sides. Hmm. The idea is to get self empowered and grow your own stuff. So, you know, on here, this is a huge thing um, for medication. And again, it increases blood sugars and stuff like that. It, it actually is designed to suppress the immune system. Ooh. Okay. So my question to you is you've never read the whole write-up on it, have you? Or the No. No, you haven't. So again, you're 
you're taking something into your system. It's no different than whether you eat it or put it on your skin. You're still taking it in. And my question to you is, is to go do a Google search or go to the pharmacist or wherever and ask for the CPFs. Then you'll really get into stuff there. Yeah. Um, but it actually assists in that. So that's why you see a lot of people with skin conditions and stuff like that with diabetes and stuff and fungus. And what they do is they put the steroids on them to hide the candida yeast fungus or the gang gangrene for so long cortical steroids, right? Or were they getting all the mass weight and stuff like that? So again, um, that's a huge thing in here for health effects, right? So um, yeah, it, it's not what people think there. It, it inhibits the productions of interleukin, interferon, gamma, um, your tumor necrosis factor, TNF. <laughs> You know, you got to remember, we know that they were doing stuff with the enzymes, mucking around with the vaccines. That's why everyone else also asks, ends up with cancer because you were playing with the enzymes, inhibitors and stuff. You know, that's what all those doctors died because they discovered, well, it's not like they discovered, it's not like we didn't know that. But it says here, it, cortisol counteracts insulin. So it contributes right here. I'm just reading it wiki even, but hyperglycemia causing hepatic problems which knocks out your liver, right? Bone and collagen, it reduces bone formation. Where's your cells? You know, everything else in here. It affects the exchange between potassium and, and sodium ions. Hyperkalemia. Cortisol reduces calcium absorption in the, in, in the intestine. Mm. You gotta remember, everything comes down back to this guts again. Then there's the amino acids. Mm. It raises the free amino acids. Um, wound healing and stuff like that. Quite amazing in here. So, you know, it acts as a diuretic. You know, that's why a lot of people, they put it on there. Glomular fertation, renal things from the thing. Again, it's, it's witchcraft. It's sorcery. You're playing with one to the other. Yeah, so I'm, right. I'm putting it on my forehead and thinking, making it better, and it's actually making everything worse. Yep. Yeah. So I said, it's just, it's a, you know, it's like, do you want this, the fast kill or the slow kill? Um, potassium, sodium, it affects here. Gastric stimulates gastric acid thing. Um, direct effect on the hydrogen thing of the immune system by deactivating the renal enzymes. <laughs> memory, here we go. Works with epinephrine, adrenaline, to create memories of short-term emotional events. Um, so, memory loss, people. Um, yeah, it may originate as it means to remember what it is to avoid the future. However, long-term exposure to cortical can damage all the cells in the hippocampus. Now, I want you to, what's in your hippocampus? Where's your memory and everything else? Right, right, yeah. Yeah. So, if they, these are very famous long words. Let's just cut through the bullshit of the, you know, crap. It's causing brain damage. Right. Okay. Whether I say it's, it's creating gamma damage, ultraviolet, it's pineal, pituitary, third eye, call it what you want. I'm just going to say brain damage, and people get that. It seems to bother them that I'm saying you're taking something that's brain damaging. Right. If I said liver, oh, your liver's being damaged, you're kidding. Uh, no, no. But the minute I say your brain, it's like going to heaven. It means you're not going to get to heaven. You're not going to get to the next level or open up another level of awareness, or you can't open up more Windows program, or move to Mac, or move to Linux, or move to whatever, you move to, you know, unless you can do that. Um, yeah, so it, it's shown to inhibit memory retrieval of already stored information. So like a computer, it means you can't access your files. You gotta remember, we are computers, and this is plasma technology. You and I are, are it's being recorded everywhere, right? Um, sleep dress, it, it interferes with all the humans, you know, all that presence in the blood. It goes on and on and on. It affects your sleep, change patterns in the AACTH. It, it causes clinical depression and psychological stress, as well as hypoglycemia, fever, trauma, exertion, temperature exchange, autism, and Asperger syndrome. Hmm. Then we'll discuss all the women that are on this kind of stuff, right? Again, passed down. So during pregnancy, the fetal production between the 30 and 30 second weeks um, affected surfactant, which means these poor children, that's why they used to give surfactant to neonatal because they couldn't breathe, you know. So the surfactant thing. So all this stuff um, basically um, 
was affecting things. So, I mean, we just don't need to be doing that. But, oh, and here, I just looked at this. Oh, this is huge. Ah, you know, I just never looked at this for wiki. I mean, I haven't looked at pharmacology. And I mean, I knew what steroids were doing, like, you know, 30 years ago. I mean, I was nursing in 1984. I'm like 30 years into this already. Um, but it actually here, it, it talks very much as it, it blocks the progesterone block of cervical um, dilatation and myometrial contraction here in virtually all species that they have ever tested on. So this is being developed in there. So, you know, I dealt with someone that was doing some stuff too um, the other day. And again, are they doing stuff for adrenals? Or there's a lot of people using stuff, um, um, DHAA and all that kind of stuff too. I mean, this is a huge amount of stuff. And they're trying to give you that this is a normal level. This is not normal. Just because they say you're in our normal acceptable range. That means they've got you to buy into this, you know. And again, it's just not in there. And again, it's, it's the primary thing that cortisol is the regulation of the pituitary gland, which produces uh, ACTH, your adrenocorticotrophic hormones. That's why they were all at a whack. I was like, why are your neurotransmitters at 200 and some here? Hmm. Right? And it wasn't until I did that, to do the connection, to do that, to break down the chemistry of cortical steroid and that, that phenol solvent thing. And I went, what the heck is this? And then you went, well, but I'm on this. I went, oh, well, that's part of it. Huh. You know, and, and it's like doing a trace. It's like a dot to the dot to the dot to the dot. And I went, again. How am I going to get that out of my system now? Well, one is we stop, and two, it's accumulated in the tissue. So it's going to take some time to release out. And, it, and when it releases, whatever it's going to release out, it's going to release out. It might release an infection or a low-grade whatever. So if you're putting it on there underneath, it, it's that's where your infection or the you know encephalitis is going, like the inflammation of the brain, the brain damage. and, and the It's like parasites in the brain. Yeah. You know, it's like little maggots. Like that's what the candida yeast is. So um, once you stop, just – Stop it. That at least will do that and deal with what we got to deal with coming out, you know. And it might look worse as it comes out, you know. There's inflammation, bumps and stuff, and whatever else. But once you get it out, and like I said, skin is 120 days. You can, re, you know, make a new liver and like so long a new organ. So skin's about, you know, start regenerating. It's about 120 days. But anyway, um. That's just a little of what, you know, on the surface, you know, in here. Um, cortisone, cortisol, everything. Cortisone 10 is an anti-itch thing made by Chatham, manufactured by Chatham. It's Tennessee-based, over-the-counter, dietary supplements. Oh, my gosh, they make Flexerol, 2, -two grams, Allegra, Rolaids, Pamperin, Dexatrim, Aspercream, and Selsun Blue. Yep. It's a pharmaceutical multinational of Sanofi, right? Put through by Walmart, Kroger, and whoever else. So this is a huge thing. Yeah. Um, founded in whatever, World War II, who supplies it right now, it's a subsidiary founded in Tennessee, yes, the Chattanooga Medicine thing. Um, key people are Zan Gary, Siskino O'Neill, Spokesman, Icy Hot, and Gold Bond. That's, we should arrest all of them. So that's all i got to say. And they pulled in roughly ooh, 400, 603.3 million in 2008. And it's the parent company of Sandifin. So that alone, right, they're making here. By the way, 2006, it merged with who? Johnson and Johnson and oh. five. Okay, so then I start going through here and I start looking also what they also do. Kale peptide. Okay, so these people are not in the interest here, and they were trying to pending the U.S. government's approval of these. Yeah. And I see. I didn't know Paris in 2009. Paris-based France 
Sanofi is the world's fourth largest drug made, maker on the planet right now. See, I learn something new every day. One more to arrest they can shut down. And again, how can you say go arrest Monsanto people doing this? How can you say go and arrest in this? Because they would not be there and they wouldn't be getting anywhere unless the people weren't buying it and, and supporting them. So whether it's energetically and with money, you're supporting the war effort. You're supporting the Illumati pharmaceutical petrochemical thing right now. Right. So if you want it to stop, then you need to stop it. And not even knowing it, which is the worst part. Okay. So how does that make you feel? Used. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we got an oil for that too. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Okay, use this in an emotion, yeah, I mean, we do, but it actually, how does that make us feel? Use. No. I just wanted to know how, how, what was affecting your emotion to that, so then, hey, we'll just do another thing. So, you know, if we're feeling used and stuff like that, Betrayed. it's a state of being, and yeah. instead of being respected, they're using you. They don't respect your things. They violate it. You've crossed over. So the affirmation is called, we respect who we are, or I respect who I am. And you know what Know what the oil is for that emotion now, to deal with your feeling used? No. That they've been able to play on to? These certain people, I don't say they, but these certain people have been able to do that. Jasmine. Hmm. So Jasmine would be one. It goes on the, actually the circulation sex of the CB5. And I mean by circulation, that's the meridian C3. Okay, so C3. Okay, so it's right here on this area. There's your belly button. So it's about, here's your belly button, two inches before here. That's in the kind of reproductive second chakra stuff. Um, okay. Now, what is that? Jasmine goes oh. in there. And then we would put the jasmine, and you could put it right on that area. Okay. So one of the remedies actually for this is this. <laughs> so it's above, so below. Okay. Um, so again, feeling used is, uh, you know, I am feeling respected. I am respectable. Okay. Um, that's coming back into alignment and stuff like that. You know, so it's not as, as easy as it seems. And then, um, you know, let's look at, and again, Jasmine, I mean, their skin condition is not, but, Let's just find what some of that will do. Jasmine is an incredible healing oil. Um, and again, look at some, some of these new ones. And like I said, there's Jasmine, there's Jasmine. Do you know Jasmine was one of the first oils I ever actually got into? And it, it does a lot with emotional trauma, too. Just on that. <clears throat> I, J. So Jasmine is a fish now. It's from um, usually around India. It's an absolute, it's an essence not an oil. The flowers are picked at night, by the way, just to maximize the um, the intensity of the smell or the fragrance or the odor, or whatever the sense is. So it's actually collected at night. <laughs> wow, that's really. Okay, so a lot of people don't realize sometimes you have to wait till a, a oil gets almost into. I don't want to say stress, but can mass produce at its finest. You know, oils have their finest hour. This is an art to distillation stuff. You know, and one pound of jasmine requires of oil requires get this a thousand pounds of jasmine to make one pound or 3.6 million blossoms. I'm not sure who exactly, wow. but um, it's got to be collected before dawn, or much of the fragrance will be evaporated. So it's a very rare oil on that. Um, on that. So you're going to be looking for jasmine oil. And what does it have? A benzoacetate, a benzobenzenate, a lineal, a phyllotol, isophenol, and a squalene. Um, it was called the queen of the night, actually. I would call it the clown mother of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> the moonlight of the grove. For centuries, women have treasured jasmine and stuff for this seductive, for the, it's known as an exotic, I don't mean erotic as in sexual, but exotic, sensual. It's always been part of the formularies, if you look back in scriptures and Bibles. It's uplifting, it's an antidepressant, it's stimulating, um, antibacterial, antiviral. Okay, so instead of vaccines and using antibiotics and stuff. 
anxiety, depression, menstrual PMS, all skin problems for anything from wrinkles to eczema to frigidity, libido problems to uplifting it, it um, deal with people that have hopelessness and stuff like that. So you can just apply two to four oils, uh, drops of these oils on the things or the Vitaflex or reflexology points. And Young Living actually puts it in a few other things called Clarity, Dragon Time to Awaken People, some of the other things, Inner Child, Into the Future, things like that, The Gift. And there's been a lot of research on it, um, maybe used biologically and molecular. So I've got like, I don't know, three, four different studies here they've used for antiviral efficiency against hepatitis B, replication, isolated, things like that. So, I mean, this is well documented, you know, on there. So anyway, um, and that's the jasmine flower there, that white one. Yeah. Very, very beautiful. So there's one of your remedies. Again, you got to deal with the emotion now, until we deal with people on all things, you know, like which well do you want? Come on, nothing. Send me one of everything right now. And even just to get five mils is better just to get something started and not at all. And, you know, if it's going to be in one of the other suppliers, as long as it's a medical grade out of the ones I gave you, and there's lots more if you look. But I'm trying to make things available to people very reasonable that they can get very quickly that are on this even continent. You don't have to bring in. So that's actually where you start with one of them. So like I said, um, you can take different oils, even like different foods. If you use you know, carrots and, and celery, well, let's just try different foods at different micro amounts right now. And just think of an essential oil as a food you haven't tried yet. That's really all it is from that area of the planet. Yeah. You know, and I can see, you know, India and stuff like that in those areas. It's grown indigenously. Those are different areas in your second and third chakra, by the way. Because <clears throat> when you said that your body's starving and craving frankincense. Yeah. yeah. I immediately put two and two together because I've been eating so much, trying to find something what my body wants, and I can't find it. Now I know what it is. It wants the frankincense. Because before that, I was taking the frankincense capsule every day and putting it on my skin. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find out there's so many different varieties of frankincense. There's three main ones, but... Um, well, there's more than that. There's you've got and you got white frankincense. You've got all sorts of frankincense. But even Eden's Gardens allows you to have and like Young Living just came up with the frankincense and then a sacred frankincense. Yeah. But if you go to Eden's Gardens, they have like the three different ones. In fact, I just did a posting on it last week. In fact, I think it's their special at Eden's Gardens right now. Because <laughs> you can get three things of and whether it's five mils or ten mils or whatever, but of the three different frankincenses. And again, different areas, different plants, different species pick up different nutrients, you know, and depending where they're harvested, you know, it's like wolfberries, like, you know, there's like 50 some varieties of wolfberry, you know, which is goji berries, depending where they're grown, what they do, you know, like people out here farm, they get beets this big. You go to the Kootenays where I am, the Sinaiac area, they're this big. Hmm. Right? We have minerals. They don't have any here. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's a beet is not a beet, right. you know, um, a gardener, is not a farmer. A gardener knows how to protect the land and does it for love, and a farmer is someone that uses chemicals for commercial profit. You know, totally different spectrums. You know, that's what a guardian angel is. You know, it was even in, in the Masonic. What's the gardener? I mean, you got Scottish right, you got this right, you got this right, you got this right. <laughs> even Scottish, you know, right? I mean, I always laugh at it. Scotsmen and English and United Kingdom and Ireland. I mean, those are the people that, you know, sold off their women, you know. <clears throat> what else can you zap into me because I don't have the essential oils? Well, I'm going to do – I'll do some of them now. I mean, I'll take that top ten oils. But, again, your physical oil is not always on the emotional field, too. And sometimes I'll look for connections to that. I mean, I can do some really funky stuff, too. And let's just say we did um, – no, let's do that. I can do skin. Um, let's say I might have a skin issue or whatever, skin in the forehead or something. Or some cellulitis or whatever it might be. And what I'm going to do is going to check what's the a mental thing connections. I'm looking for a contributing causes. Is it physically, mentally, emotionally? So we can do some of that. And it comes back here right a bit. There's some 
skin and um, clearing. We need some food on here. Desensitizing allergy. Um, bone deficiency of tyrosine not being absorbed properly. Uh, and again, bone deficiency means what? Where's your cells all made? Where's the codes made? In the bones, in the bone marrow. You gotta get through to everything to get into your bones. That's your tree of life. Yeah. Right? And so it's not always just as simple as sometimes people think it is, you know, and um, to go into their risk profile and stuff like that and just pick out something and say, well, what are we going to look at now? Census, are we going to look at skin? Are we going to look at your immune system and see if I can find a connection to it, you know, and by value and stuff like that. So there's trauma and adrenals, but the first thing is these sensory. So do I want to do that or do I want to deal with this, you know, infection that you got here? You know, what's the connection to it? You know, there's something else in here that, you know, we're not picking up or feeling or, you know, what's contributing to the census here. You know, internal calcium not being absorbed properly. Again, certain things. Wild yam hormonally to bring it back. So eating yams or something, like when women want to do um, wild yam cream and get their hormones back. You know, um, there might be something in there, adding some wild yams into your, stimulate yeah. your blood sugars. And we have this the other day. Yeah, wild yams. And it does, it comes up here actually, wild yams. Um, so yeah, I kind of do know some, some things occasionally. <laughs> But again, like looking for what's connected, connecting from the pituitary connection to the bowel. Where's the bowel connection to the pituitary? On the right side, over here, underneath the liver. That's that whole head is connected here. So I know that this is not cleaned out colon-wise. You know, and you could be missing those like 8, 10, or 15 minerals not being absorbed, getting up to the head from the colon. So you're not getting a full complement yet. You might be getting half or part, or it's just getting better. You're just starting to get your hair growing or whatever a little bit. Is that scab cleaned off yet? Maybe not. Yeah. You know, so like I said, it was like every chakra is probably about six, seven hours of colon hydrotherapy. So talk to me after like 40, 50 hours of, you know, intense colon hydrotherapy. You know, and, and that's just what happened. And I mean, I know lots of people that are regenerating right now. And these guys, you know, these are the year ascended in your grandmasters, the lodges and stuff too, and they've dealt with it. And, uh, you know, They've already had 50, 60 hours of colonics now. I mean, they're they're regenerating now. They're getting like they've got more spring in them than most twenty year old guys now. And again, it's it gain knowledge. Yeah. You, it's all gain levels of degrees of enlightenment. So we, we can do that. We can keep you preparing the copper, but if it's not going to be absorbed because we haven't got the plaque spot off, and I'm just giving you copper temporarily till you can get the scab off so that you can absorb the copper every time you do something. Right. And I'm in the same thing too. You know, I really would like to have my colonic machine, but you know, at this point I think I'm going to have to rig. I want spring water and I'll do it with five gallon or 10 gallon or rig someone up here. Now when you do that, how is it being heated? Cause you can't put cold you water. Open, you can open the top and you can actually, um, there are some people you can do bivalves through and, and tap it right into the plumbing that way um, is one way to do it. Um, there are other things you can use, put them actually with a heater and get a heater around it too. There are, there are many different, there's no limit to probably how I could heat it up. You yeah, because um, when I do mine, that, I put it on top of the stove and keep t testing it with my finger. Well, the other way too is if you took like a, a warm one and really got it quite warmed up, you know, and um, we used to put the, like in the seven quart one, you could even with the, I could cut off the top of the, um, like the bottle, the blue bottle. Yeah. And fill it like a funnel if I really wanted to. Could you still have all that pressure coming through and five gallons at least with a bit of a PSI to it. But I mean, the other way what we did is we used to, it's called the Woods method. Um, it's a open method. But I've seen it like Dr. Andrew Backer's got like one where he just taps his right into the um, into the hot and cold water system and regulate the temperature that way. But again, those guys were using city water and they still hadn't filtered out all the chlorine and the fluorine. I just wanted to see how the flip it would function, which was really awesome. You know, and he just did it with straight piping. 
Um, but the other way too is, you know, like I'm saying, I can do almost like a solar shower. Yeah. You know, you're using the same thing too. So I can see a couple different ways, but you, you need to get that pressure a little bit more, even though it's a, he calls it gravity fed. I mean, the gravity is coming through without the assistance of the machine, but either way, it's still got some PSI to it. But anyway, those are some thoughts in there. You know, like I said, I'm, there's a way to rig that even through the plumbing system. And if one wanted to eliminate chlorine and fluorine, you'd still have to get a quadruple filter. Right. I'm just of the thing right now. I just really probably miss being in the mountains with, you know, true water, <laughs> spring water, heated up, geothermal. Like, I mean, that's always was my thing was to, whether it's at elk water or back in the Kootenays, was to use the geothermal, naturally heated hot spring water. That would be the way to go with that rich warm water. So, and I still... To function on that, we probably still need that. See, that was one of the things we had a geothermal site south of Cypress Hills, too. Mm. Of course, that was all being stolen by the Draco military stuff, so yeah, they can get rid of all those as far as I'm concerned right now. Is that going through because I don't taste anything or smell anything? Oh, I'm just sitting here, I'm not doing anything right now, just talking. I could, but um, you know, like I said, there are some different why is my things. neck really hurting now, really sore. Again, things are moving around, bringing things to your thing. Attention, and let me just see here. Let me just put in some oils here or something. So, I mean, I can actually start giving you jasmine energetically. But, you know, tying viral cedar wood. Again, how long have you been on the cortical cortisone? It's off and on. For, yeah, a couple years. Yeah, there you go. So you got quite a build up in the system. Uh, Jasmine. Like I said, it, it's yeah, it, it's an interesting process, you know. Yeah. It's not always as simple as we always think. Yeah, I was trying to see. Chivalry, ginger, lemon. Okay, well, I'm just going to send you Sappy some different things here. So, what will this one send like three minutes or whatever? The what? Send three minutes of essential oils, like over. And again, um, next stuff too, resistance to change or more information or fifth dimensional stuff. So don't think of it as your nap or something. What's coming up or something moving. Like I said, things are shifty all the time. Here we go. That's my thought for the day. What did you hear? The volume is messing up your microphone. What did you what, just come closer to the microphone. You know, I'll just shut off the noise off of the machine. Um, as I'm saying, does that make things a little bit clearer for you? Yeah, yeah, much clearer. Yeah. And like I say, um, that's where people get self-empowered and they're not dependent on a, you know, drug system or something too. Like I said, it's still, whether it's through the food or it's topically or it's, you know, whatever. Yeah. Was making the connection, That's good. Like said, and from my point of view, I mean, this is to me like a lie detector test. You're going through a scanner, and I'm going, but there's something there. But there's something right. there. But there's something there. But you keep telling me you're not you're not taking a prescription. I'm going, but there's something here. But there's something, <laughs> right? 
you know. I, and, I didn't look at it as a prescription. It's over the counter. Again, it, it's you know? drug. Are, are you taking right. food? Are you taking superfood? Or where am I picking? You're still not even organic. Where am I still picking that you're getting drugs? Yeah. You know, or am I still looking at it? We can't. You know, you can't be cleared yet. What's What's the issue yet? You know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like. Like I said, it just it's bringing there. So then you want to look up, and again, national cortisone or national skin thing or whatever. So, like I said, marjoram, uh, jasmine's the emotional one, which is wonderful for skin too. But you know, from a skin point of view, there's still tea tree, lavender, rose oil, all those things are still great. But you might need that one piece of code or DNA or a reconnection back. You know. So take a look at that. Yeah, it's amazing. And again, it's a barcode, right? There's a barcode on everything, yeah. right? So can't let him go. You know, it's like going to heaven. We can't let him through. He's still got a barcode there. He's still got the contract with them, you know. You're still contracting with them. So. Well, it's not, it's not the old style barcode. It's the square, square thing. Yeah, yeah. Barcode. Yeah. Read the back of that for me, just to let me, you know. I, I haven't read these things for all. I just want you to get educated. You have to educate yourself. Yeah. You need the magnifying glass, yeah. That's in the fine print. <laughs> it's like no a legal way. contract. It's a legal contract. That's what you're doing. You're contracting with these people, right? It's a legal contract, whether you realize it or not. It doesn't say side effects on it. Yeah, it probably says with the paper that comes with it. <laughs> yeah. Where you don't, where you just throw it away, you know. There's a great learning experience, though. Yeah. You know. Yeah, this is real great for treatment of diaper rash. Put this on your baby. It'll yeah. help. Again, Johnson's and Johnson, some of the most toxic stuff, right? Uh, you get penitent, you get mineral oil, you get their talc, you get all those drugs going into the children, those colored soaps and stuff and everything else. And then you get the pampers and stuff with all the chemicals and bleaches into there right next to the children at the root chakra that they are drugged from the minute they put them, take them out of you, you yeah. know. And so, again, you put it on and it covers it because it, it creates a, like a chemical masking. It's like putting a layer of paint on. You just don't see what's, you know, the gyp rock falling off in between and, and the rotting of the gyp rock and the lath and the plaster. Right. Till the whole thing, you got mold and mildew, and the whole thing comes collapsing down around you, right? Because it was all artificial in the first place. <laughs> um, and you go, wow, I shouldn't have been in this. I should have been in a, you know, an earth thing, you know. The worst part, it really makes me mad, now yeah. that, it, that I think of it, is I'm yeah. putting, doing the urine therapy, putting the urine on, get out of the shower, and my forehead looks really good. I'm thinking, well, I'm going to put the cortisone on to get more of the redness away, and it gets redder. Okay, there's I'm just doing, line. That, I'm doing. Yeah, you're counteracting when it is. And right. what you're doing is that, again, your system is innately wisdom. If you think the creator's within you, or you're trying to co create, then the thing is to come back to that that it's a sign that, or it's a signal or an effect where there's a side effect, that there's something still in there not being dealt with. Again, it's not the forehead, it's the brain, it's the seventh chakra. Okay, so from an ascended master level or whatever you want to say, you know, people that are inheriting the crown, the crown jewels, whatever, um, 
that kind of thing. That's what we need to correct. Right, and again, look through the meridians, governing vessel, everything else, like whatever you want to say, meridian, you know, you trace them too. So we went and traced them, you know, in there. So you've got that, and then you've got your bladder ones and everything else. So we still got low-grade infections still to deal with. Yeah. If you lump it as a parasite, you know, whatever. But um, I know I just had a, a client actually in the last few days too, and and she went in there with the stool sample and says, I'm not leaving. I know I've got parasites, right? Didn't say it was me telling her what you got, but anyway, it correlated and it finally came back. Well, she's got one particular little blah, 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 flagellated amoeba, right? I said, do you think they test for that? They sure didn't test for the other 9,000 either. You're positive for it too. <laughs> you know, what are they going to do about it? You know, not what we are, but she did get it confirmed what we said the other day, you know, and, um, that's someone pretty persistent, you know. She says, "I'm not leaving." <laughs> she walked in there with the stool samples. Not, I'm going for labor. She says, "This is it," and I got it, and we got it. Hmm. So um, we just had a medical doctor confirm that absolute. So you know, this is from the medical. This is military hospital stuff. Like, I mean, hello, <laughs> it's already been confirmed. Here, let me show you the two different shampoos. Uh, you're gonna make me go to the bathroom, aren't you? This is what it was using. Ah! <laughs> oh no, it's over the counter drugs again. This is what I use now. Oh, okay. Well, we got to go like investigate that one. I don't know that brand. The other one I do. Is that like organic or did you like yeah. guess that one? You know, because I'm a little leery. I see like a pinkish color, which could be food dye in something red. That's the bottle. Well, what does it say? I mean, what are the ingredients? You don't know. I mean, I, I, and you got different browns. Like they do that just to con these different people confuse in different areas. This. Okay, one does that bottle say organic anywhere on it at least or forged? Or do I have to look that one up on the internet too? Um, I thought it did, but it's not right in your face like it should be. Uh -huh. Here's your first clip. This blend of nutrient rich shampoo water. Oh, nutrient-rich spring water and argan oil. Mm -hmm. Argan oil mm -hmm. gives you amazing hydration. Mm -hmm. White tea extracts contains powerful antioxidants that help repair damage. Well, uh, well, vitamin E penetrates the cuticle. Adding needed moisturize moisture, mm -hmm. sealing the hair fiber and locking in the vital nutrient. Mm -hmm. The result is uh, perfectly hydrated, smooth, shiny hair. Are you telling me it only has three ingredients? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Well, I'd probably do a run on it on the internet. And double check with the company. It's got an interesting color to it. It was seven dollars. Where at? Did you get it? Drug Mart. Yeah, no, it's, I would uh, do a run on it. Ingredients: purified water. With what chemical? You got to remember, purified means that we took the original water and we put drugs into it. Oh, <laughs> so counter water. Yeah, what? I can't even read that word. Can you pronounce it? Probably not. Co com co comido propyl. 
benzene, bentine, coconut oil, sodium, mm. lauryl, lauryl sulfate. Sodium mineral sulfate, SLS. Mm -hmm. After every word, it says coconut oil. This is not coconut oil. Well, you can get a natural L SLS out of coconut oil as opposed to a synthetic one they make. So they're just telling you that we've used coconut as the derivative. You see, there's sometimes a natural version, and then there's a drug-induced version of it. Okay, so th that makes sense to me. PEG 120 methyl glucose sodium l'oreal lactate. Okay, well, you know what I'll, I'll tell you? Before you go too much further, there's probably a bunch, like you said, you can't pronounce. We know that it's not derived off a natural tree or garden. <laughs> Yeah, if you can't pronounce them. I usually do if you can't pronounce it. You really don't know what it is. There's a prime example. You don't know what you're putting into yourself, into the field. So you're indirectly supporting stuff that you don't know. Like I said, we can go back to simple things like um, I talked about. You can get an organic one. You can just use apple cider vinegar. You can do a lot of different things. And um, it's to know what everything's in there. Okay. I actually know those products, you know, in there. I mean, swab, I just know it's like Johnson Johnson. I just, I've read it enough times that I'm like, you know, it's Illuminati symbols. So I stay away. <laughs> it's like Masonic satanic symbols. So I just, you get to know them after a while. You know, it's like the church of swab, the church of Johnson and Johnson. You know, you just like learn to like stay away from stuff. Yeah. You know, once you get sensitive, you can feel it. If you can muscle test and stuff too. But like I said, most people are too blocked up. They can't, their senses aren't functioning anymore. They can't feel it. They can't pendulum muscle test. They can't, you know, same thing, throw tarot cards. They're, they're too blocked up on somebody. They're not a clear thing, you know. Hmm. I don't let people read for me. But um, that's the thing, too. You could go right on the supplier. But, you know, that's enough for me to go, no. And I would just go, what's the natural version? So, again, you're putting more chemicals in, you know, and have been for long years, right, which has got its accumulation. Like I talked about that woman with the underarm deodorite with all the aluminum all that yeah. coming out and then the women wonder why this is all going in they all got breast tumors in here and their lymphatics don't drain because they can't drain any more aluminum and they're all getting their memories and they all are like brain dead and it's like having alzheimer's and memory loss right same thing keep spraying it all in start putting the chemicals start putting the chlorine in the fluorine you're going into an Auschwitz chamber in there so even using showers or shower heads that have um, chlorine removers you can get water systems that do that you know, you can get shower heads you can adapt to that you can actually put essential oils now and things that come through instead of just the chlorine and the fluorine. Hmm. Um, I think Ion Fossips had it, dot com. Um, again, knowledge is, is power, right? That's why I don't like being in the city. I don't like touching anything. I don't Because you touch it, you absorb chlorine on contact. On contact. Um, we used to do this. You know, I remember the guys at King and stuff like that. We used to, we used to Rishak and I used to have fun, but... Not that I would do what he would do, but, you know, he would take the city water and we've got actual drops. It's like you test for fluoride or pH. You can test for chlorine. So you would see the water all turn yellow because we put the drops in it. So it's pure chlorine. And then he'd stick the bread in. And all the chlorine would go into the bread, which was like your skin. So then you'd put the bread in. It would absorb all the chlorine on contact with your skin. And the water cleaned because of what we did. And we would put the different things in there and minerals. And we used to play with the water alchemy. And then that was the only mistake. I mean, I, I like the guys to a certain point, but then they'd go eat it. And I'm like, mm. okay. <laughs> you know, it, it did make sense. Like, let's just kill myself and put a bullet to my head and drink a, you know, a whole thing of white bread with like chlorine, chlorine absorbed in it. So. But um, again, I've seen a lot of things over. I've been, really blessed to have been with some of like, you know, some of the top people, you know, on the planet or, you know, absorbed from. So, and again, it's experience, you know, that's why I threw out, I mean, I did, I threw out like uh, that. Some people's like closets are bigger than that kitchen in there and the bathroom. <laughs> like the bathroom is literally like five by five. You couldn't get a tub in there. I don't think. But, um, you know, in there, I mean, I took out nine things. I'm not even close to being done. Not even close. Don't even like I haven't even hit the the rest of the place yet, you know. 
And to me, I could have this all cleared out. To me, I could do, I said a room a day. I would be done a whole place in like less than a week. And they did. They took one load out to hazardous waste material because they only gather. They have one day a, a month that they have. You can go to hazardous waste here. But um, that's what it is. I said it's hazardous waste. Let them deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> but again, it, it's a learning thing. You know, and arrest what? I mean, the planet's on lockdown. Arrest some more? Yeah, we're going to have to lock down, arrest a few more people. And really lock them down yeah. and lock this for like, you know, a week or two or a couple months. I don't care what it takes. Yeah. You know, take control over the airways again and we start pumping our information out. You know, instead of looking at Johnson & Johnson commercials and Starbucks um, and McDonald's. So, you know, this is a huge thing. Uh, and hopefully that's a great learning experience. You know, I've said it many times, but there's a great little pamphlet I used to have. Young Living used to put out, and it's called Rub-a-Dub-Dub is there cancer in your tub, and it shows a baby in there. And we would break down all the chemical formulas, you know, Johnson's and Johnson's and everything else. I mean, these mothers are killing their children, right, from the thing that's sticking Heinz in there to put in the formula. I mean, I just educated a woman to look at raw food for children, how to use hemp milk. When are we need off because she stopped breastfeeding, and then they were putting on hormones. But, you know, I said, you're doing a brand damaging thing. Well, but I want to keep breastfeeding. I said, oh, so you're taking drugs to like lactate to like, you know, put drugs into your child. Anyway, um, you know, I said, and I know probably the little less league and the duelists and the midwives don't cover this and certainly the nurses, but I mean, how do you wean off, put children onto hemp milk again, or I don't care what kind of milk instead of, you know, isomil and all that. I mean, that's a huge thing. And how easy it is to make hemp milk or to make almond milk or to make cashew milk or something to soak them off with the original nuts, not like, you know, Monsanto, but soak it off with the enzyme inhibitors and make fresh milk for those children every day. Yeah. You know, hemp milk, I mean, I've done it. I've done this for years. Had to do a show on that. Oh, that alone just to, you know, how to make three milks in the morning or in the a.m., I should say, if you're breaking the fast. And... That alone, I said, here's the mother that I did it with. Here's the three websites. Here's this. Here's my girlfriend making it at Hemco, and here's whatever. And, I mean, I'm feeling like the dear Ann Landers of, like, how just to, like, navigate. And your kitchen is your digestive system and your plumbing. So if you don't have the bathroom and a kitchen in the place, I mean, there's a prime example, you know. And then we go in and we emit these things, and then that's why these smart meters and everything else can affect people and mind control right? You're still under the system. You're still contracting with them in the legal fine print, as you saw, mm. you know, and everything's off for contract, right? And I reject that, you know? So, um, like I said, there's a hundred people have actually way more. Their hair is actually really after apple cider vinegar. They just use, and use that a couple times a week. Again, buying into that we need to use swab or we need to use whatever you're using to lather to be clean. That's, um, that's commercial. Yeah, because it was. We don't. Because every third or every fourth hair wash, I was using baking soda. Yeah, but again, but, it's not doing. And like, you can just get make some herbal teas, actually, some silica based teas or some herb teas, and use that as your rooms. You know, make make a herb tea and use that as your rinse with a little bit of vinegar or something. Or, you know, like I said, there's a hundred other ways to do that. Again, it, you know. You're not clean till you whatever. I mean, that's a commercial people have been bought into, you know. And I think it's going to be quite pivotal. But um, there are, you know, some definitely there's natural ways to do it too, you know. Um, but again, it's food based. Look at food based yeah. hair things too, or herb based cleansers. But yeah, there's your prime example. You can even pronounce that one. I know. I know my Baba didn't grow it in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Baba couldn't grow it and it won't come in here anymore <laughs> you know and, and that's really what they did you know and, and really it sounds so simple but it is if love is so simple you know and we don't pay for people to kill us because we haven't read the contract <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean someone's got their own agenda you know and it's not benevolent you know, so, yeah, it's, like I said, it's uh, over-the-counter, something called OTC, which is over-the-counter drugging, 
you know, and you got to remember 90% of the grocery store is over the counter drugging. You know, there is a thing that they talked about in the Illuminati and the secret covenant and um, the secret of the secret covenant. But, you know, and Kissinger even said it, those that control the water and the food control the people. Those that control the water control the people. Yeah. And that's why when I found out all the water originated basically on my lands, I put in for the stuff to the, be on the Hague Court and the International Courts. So technically I control it now. <laughs> Better have some people starting to listen. So, but that's it, and that, that's bloodline or hereditary rights, and the monarchy, and anyone that's RH negative is not allowed to even own or have anything. That was by original even the things, and there's been no contract with them for just about three years now. So, and uh, the Sergeant Daniel McBullen said he said he didn't come here to chew bubble gum. <laughs> That's from the movie They Live. Uh, you know what? I went and looked it up. I went, oh, yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah, it can separate. And they're able to see stuff in their frequency with their bio suits, right? They can do that. Yeah. They, that's what the super soldier in our super soldier programs before and let them have at it now. You know, it's time to clean. And, um, you know, it's a very exciting time. You know, I look at we've got to bring some order here. There's just way too much chaos, you know. I don't want it. a new world. Is that's a new war? We're not here for a new war. Right. You know, we're here to get some peace established. So, but we're we're developing people and educating people. And sometimes, you know, one show like this can affect you know another ten, twenty. I've just looked at some of the top people that have contacted me, and I'm sending them you know all the stuff from Project Ascension. So it's making us it, it's making a pivotal difference. Two o two. 202 views and the, the three hour one we just I just uploaded yeah well you know it's they're new and that's you know those are for the hardcore people we still got to do probably the 10 20 minute ones yeah. I'm gonna get out of my system first you know I would lo love and that's what I'm gonna do next week um, I'm going down to the city of Saskatoon and I'm gonna firsthand just like I looked at um, the synchrotron here and all the violations of international treaties of peace and the axle word treason upon the people with that. Um, my next thing will be to tackle the water treatment plant because they're putting fluoride and chlorine and everything else and the black sentient goo and then using that also to cool down the nuclear reactors and stuff here. So, I mean, I'll have a field day with that. And um, I'm not close to being done. You know, because that water, even the South Saskatchewan River, originates off my land, off of um, Cypress Hills elk water. So, and, and they have no authority and they have no rights here. Yeah. You know, and um, even the mayor and stuff like the city of Saskatoon and Down Matches and stuff like that, and they're well known masons. And so, you got to remember even what the original intent of the masons and the Templars were to be and how they've been corrupted too. So, you know. Um, it's time to clean everything up. And uh, yeah, what was the Masons original before they were corrupted? Oh, uh, you, you can do some interesting studies on that. But Maison, Masons, mother's sons, um, a son or Sune man actually man that actually um, gave up. He went into a country, but he gave up the being under the assistance and help of the clan mothers. They were traitors or treasons. That's what his son or Sune means. Son of God is someone that's, yeah. They came away from the original ways of doing things. So, I mean, they're different things too, but Maison or home to home, everything's been flipped back to a patriarchal thing. Oh, go to your home uh, as if the man runs. <laughs> Mans don't run the lot. And again, this is what's happened, right? But you've got the Illuminati women that were usurping stuff that were from the original clan mothers. So, I mean, make no mistake, I mean, Elizabeth is an Illuminati. Monarchy, um, royalty is not nobility. They have noble, no ennobled rights. And look what reigning or royal or risks or rex means, rx even. Take the rx and the re out of your prescription symbol. It, is to do with um, also the X and stuff too, XY chromosomes and XX, the female chromosomes. It's all about corruption and destruction of the um, divine feminine and the creation process.
it's corrupt, you know, that it's blocking the acts, the Rx is also blocking the acts of the, the, the divine feminine. It blocks you from being in touch with your divine feminine or your divine mothers and stuff like that. It, it's huge, it really is. You know, and there was no coincidence, like, you know, when they called the Karenians in New Zealand, you know, and they've got an entire global network just to make sure our information was being blocked or sending direct energy weapon signals at us. You know, I remember the day Patty, you know, they discovered that, you know, did you realize there's a whole entire, like, you know, digital <laughs> cyber thing instead of things just to, like, you know, direct energy weapon you? Right? And I wonder why my information's not getting out. Or it's being blocked on other people. Whatever. You know, um, they'll all be arrested anyway. Wars what? It's called digital wars. You can actually global Google digital wars. It's actually quite an interesting thing to actually see all the cyber digital wars where they're fighting from side to side and area from area. Um, and Karen Rians is another one of the sigils and stuff like that that they've used. So it's actually quite an interesting. So Karen Rians is like Karen Ans, and then with the NZ is the New Zealand. You know, there's no coincidence, you know, Atlas and Alleys and stuff like that in every acronym, you know. They all mean something. You know, there's like levels of language. You got public language, private language, military language, you know, tribal language. Again, levels of learning. So, <clears throat> if someone steps into court, what's your name? What's your this? What's your birth certificate? Right. You know, so even to know that's like speaking allopathic and then knowing natural path and knowing that natural path is still the original, but you still got to deal with stuff. Yeah, knowing what I know now, there's no reason you don't have to step in the court. It's not even court. It's a it's a Hollywood movie. Yeah, and and then still court. quantum language. Uh, it's another special, you know, quantum language too. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's it's a whole different level. But again. Uh, you know, like I said, it, it's not what people believe, it's what you know. And when you're not standing in truth, they don't have an experience. I, I could care less. People tell me, you know, put things on their threads all the time on Facebook. They have no knowledge. I mean, I sit and watch it from the satellite. <laughs> I'm not like going, oh, well, I just think. Or my belief is, well, you don't have any knowledge. Give them, you haven't looked at it. You haven't done the research, let alone to watch it live stream. So yeah. it doesn't really matter. All these people thinking Planet X and the bear is here. Well, it's been gone since November. However, we've got, you know, close to 400 other things that have been seen out there, but, you know. <clears throat> they don't know, or, or yeah. they forget, or they don't know. That well, they're, they're, either, way, either way, they haven't done it deeply enough, you know. And um, the people that do have the knowledge that are trying to bring it forth, there are others that don't want to have that information brought forth, you know, so. Um, yeah, even to see some of the pictures and stuff like that. But it's time for disclosure, so. Yeah, you know, it's really easy now to see who is attacking because of the their trolls. They're only attacking the high number videos that I've put out. Yeah. And that's only two videos out of 20 or 22 videos I put out that yeah. we put out. Yeah, well, I, you know, it's the second individual right now that told me that, you know, the U.S. senators are talking about what I do, and I said, no, oh, it's taken that long. I sent them all the, you know, proclamations like three years ago, yeah. you know, and, and it's no different than we know we're under 24-hour surveillance, so whatever. You know, um, again, it's about educating stuff, too. I mean, even to come back here and see, you know, the difference of the, the handling, like, I mean, I can tell something even happened with my children from talking to whatever, and then within days, or something triggers them back to the MK Ultra thing, or something, and they're with handlers. Yeah. They're being handled, you know, and, and there's something there. I went, I'm not leaving until I get some of this straightened out, and like, let's get the water and the, the food safety in there. And I don't care if they, you know, like I said, these people need to be mass arrested and locked down, you know, and these people deprogrammed. So that would be my plan. Give them all a holiday. <laughs> Let them go to the spa. You won't be able to get, you know, what's the worst thing ever? We stop all this insanity and 
we have um, a new set of laws come in and that you won't be able to let the grocery stores, if they're cleaned all out in five days, great, you won't be getting any more swab up there in Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> yeah. You know, we'll teach you to use a little bentonite clay and we'll teach you a little bit about baking soda and maybe we'll get some things taken over, you know. But um, again, that's an education process, you know. Yeah, because even like, like sometimes I want to watch like um, older movies and I yeah. go that aren't being shown on Netflix and I go to Hulu. Okay. And no. every single commercial, because Hulu, if you don't have an account, they show you commercials. Okay. And every single commercial is a drug commercial. Sure. Or I should say 99.99% .99 of the commercials are drug commercials. Mm -hmm. And then what's even more funny is when they tell you the side effects. It's like, you know, back when, when you saw those commercials that didn't even register in your mind. You know? A bit of climate ties to it. It's, yeah. it's not even subliminal anymore as you've been conditioned to it. Like we yeah. are, do stuff like monarchy. If you look at, um, just the Masonic, you know, the Illuminati satanic stuff of, again, 33rd degree Masons at Disneyland and what Disney's were doing, again, when you're 13, 13 Illuminati families. But you look at that, and not tribes, families, um, is that you're looking at these things, you know, he's not just playing with that. That's a phallic symbol. There's so much homosexuality and stuff like that in there. I mean, everything's super layered. In what? Walt Disney. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you condition and condition and condition, right? Same thing. You know, um, again, it's coming back to the Garden or to the Garden of Eden and to natural things and to do things. And even being in here, like in the grid and stuff, too. But, you know, I was just doing that smart meter. So, did you realize every time you went through with your chips, it was like, boom. It's like going through like a tetrahertz scanner. It's like, you know, we're just using a direct energy weapon on you, you know? And um, so, I mean, it's very interesting. Like people, oh, he says, well, I don't want that on it because the fire said fires. <laughs> the what? We'll talk, you know, about the fires, Neil was saying. I said, uh, have you considered about the brain damage, the brain alteration, the scrambling, the DNA mutation, and the, you know, if that's what's causing a fire, what do you think it's doing to the inside of you? Yeah. And then I'll connect it to that tower, to that military tower, to that heart tower, to that satellite, how it's beamed on the ground um, network, Gwen, ground network uh, electronic. I said, so by the time, I, it only took me 15 minutes to show him a few things on YouTube. I went, how the flip did this happen? You know, this is an act of war and an act of treason. This is not just Sask Energy or Sask Power or whatever, or Saskatoon Utilities making a mistake here. Yeah. No, it's just direct energy weaponry. And people are that ignorant and that stupid. Because if they were, it would not be here. Right. You know, it wouldn't have happened in the first place. You know. So, I mean, a lot of that stuff, you know, that took a little bit of stuff to get that 30,000 out of, like, Hydro One out of Ontario already. Out of, again, the Ottawa... Indonesians and the um, Algonquin and whatever else. And then I hit educating a little bit into the Anishinaabe territory by Winnipeg. And now I'm back into the uh, Nisquit and Wiscopany and whatever. So people think Cree nations, right? So, and then we'll just head through that. But I mean, this is really important. You know, people start learning this. We, we didn't authorize any of this. Yeah. You know, and they need to be arrested. and. If we need to like detox everyone to give their head a shake, then I mean literally get rid of the brain damage, like shake them up. Um, that's what it's going to take. You know? And probably the best thing that could happen is is we shut everything down. You know, communications all electronics for you know whether it be a year or two to again get people grounded back. You know, well, it's about the only way I would see things of happening and. And again, like you said, are they clone people? Or are they? I mean, they're soulless people here. You yeah. actually have robots with human skin growing on them, like 3D printers, so they are growing with, 
human skin now cloned on him. You know, so you really don't know what they're dealing with. I mean, only I, I've got, I'm dealing with people that are abducted with implants. I'm dealing with you know women that are you know worse than like yeah, the rapes is to find out that you've been sleeping with an Rh negative reptilian that can't hold the shape shift and they wake up and there's actually like some lizard on them. You know, <laughs> I, guess, I mean, you never know what's going to pop in my office every day. <laughs> Deal with that one, you know. It's it's like Carol Rosin or something, or Mary Rodwell, right? You know, this stuff really? happens. Or Sherry Kane or the Super Soldiers. Just go to the basis program. It happens. I mean, you had the entire head of the medical department of all of Finland, Dr. Rena Kildare. I mean, talking openly about it. Of course, you know, she was removed within four days. Yeah. With the cancer virus vaccine somehow, but um, I mean, it happens. You know, but. The thing is, just deal with it. You know, I'm only responsible for me. If I'm in peace, uh, nothing's going to shake my peace. You know, I got peace and calming. I, I have enough of it after all the years. Thank you, Dr. Gary Young and everyone there. <laughs> but I did it. I went through every oil I can get. I've experienced it. And I went, when I found these other two things I just told you about it, these a couple other new ones, I want every, I want, I'd like to have every oil supplied to me. That would be the best thank you ever. <laughs> <laughs> If they had had, if these different people, the Illuminati, um, Elizabeth as a monarchist and a royalist, had had their way, everyone would have been killed basically two years ago, three years ago, by 2012, had we not stepped in with our, our interventions and um, proclamations and tribal law. Yeah. You know, this planet was being farmed, and, and there's a plan into place for Agenda 21 to do it. And if we thwarted it a little bit and we've got a few things to educate a few more people, that's, you know, when an individual saves their own life, that's what it's all about. And I'm still a mother and I'm not done with what they did to my children and stuff too with the mind control. I mean, it's sad after like to see this, you know, and where you see children turn against their mothers, you know, um, because they've been handled too much or programmed too much. That's huge conditioning, and they don't realize they can turn these children on a second. Doesn't mean we still can't, you know, on the long term, look at deprogramming and stuff like that. So, and that's where the oils come in. You know, it take two years of putting them in a spa, like you know, raindrop technique, <laughs> getting them back to normal and getting them into, you know, you don't have to work for a living. You don't have to be a slave, you know, and, and handle this. And just the fact only used by a certain percentage to control a certain percentage of people and that every dollar is representative of a woman or child killed or sold for human trafficking that alone should tell people to stop the insanity you know and again it's based if they want the banks to stop, they have to stop banking you know? yeah yeah you can't just replace one one substance for another substance you know we're gonna go mine the gold and silver and we won't chop down so many trees this time <laughs> it's like Paper, gold, so come on. It, it's, it's, neither is appropriate. Neither needs to be destroyed on this planet. So, it, it's a learning thing, you know. So, but yeah, and if you learn something off that too, just, you know, like I said, reading the label. It's very important. How, like, how do we deal with people if they can't read a label? I, I have that every day. You know, it, it's a huge thing. It's a huge thing, but only you can be responsible for what you put in and on around you. But when you, it affects the greater whole here, you're putting the swab in that water, comes back into my water, which feeds my planet, right? So we need to have that stop because you're putting it in, absorbing it, and it still goes in, you're still peeing it out. You're still absorbing it at a quantum level, on contact, I might add. On contact. Hmm. So uh, hazardous waste. How's that? That's what you can do is you can look at it and go clean through your stuff too and look at your nearest when they have a hazardous waste collection or take it somewhere like that or re like a recycling hazardous waste or something. You know, it's got to be dealt with. There's no such thing as garbage. It's just how do you recycle some of the stuff? Hazardous waste. So that's kind of what we're doing. Yeah, it's giving you a nuclear meltdown inside. Yeah, it makes sense now. Yeah, got it. That simple. 
So anyway, I'm going to like let you absorb that for a while, and then look at the new stuff on YouTube. <laughs> All right. I'll get the um, first one. What? The first one out probably tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I did, and then I'll cut and paste this one with the one, the second one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is going to be really important too. And I, I know if you got the chance to hear on Wolf Spirit, um, Ever Beyond or whatever, but at uh, Max and Five D or whatever. But that was a huge one, and then they did the consciousness one with Simon Parks. But the one that Patty did was really pivotal. Yeah. You no, know, and release some stuff that went right up. You know, and you gotta remember, I mean, that, that whole chat thing the other day—they were reading supposedly text from the what was going on inside the White House in the takeover. Hmm. Yeah, there's been a, a military takeover, and, and I don't exactly want it hushed up. <laughs> yeah. I want it out there. You know, so. But um, things are happening, and yeah, we're grateful to the people doing it. So, yeah, finally, though. <laughs>